Graphing. Objectives. Explain why we use graphs. Identify the key features of a line graph. Draw the line or curve of best fit. Distinguish between direct, indirect, and inverse graphs. Distinguish between interpolation and extrapolation. Why do we express data graphically? Graphs and charts are used to communicate information visually, which can quickly be analyzed to identify trends. Line graphs are commonly used in chemistry, and it is useful in showing data that changes continuously over time or temperature. Example, the table on the right shows the atomic number and the boiling points of the elements found in group 18 of the periodic table of elements. Analysis of the graphs shows that the atomic number increases, the boiling point increases. What are the features of a line graph? Title, dependent variable versus the independent variable. Axis, labeled and include units. Numerical scale, they must be uniform in increments of, for example, 0, 300, 600, 900, and so on. Ensure that the line and the curve occupies at least 75% of your graph space. Data points. They are plotted as dots and are circled. The circles are called point protectors. Curve. A line is drawn connecting the data points, making a smooth curve or a straight line for a line of best fit. What is a line of best fit? A graph may not have all of its data points that lie close to a straight line. The relationship may be linear, but there are outliers, perhaps due to mistakes in measurement, which may be ignored, and a straight line of best fit is drawn. The relationship might not be linear, in which case the line of best fit is a curve and not a straight line. How can we distinguish between direct, indirect, inverse, and constant graphs. These curves show how we can distinguish between them. How can we distinguish between interpolation and extrapolation? Interpolation is reading between data points, while extrapolation is extending the graph and reading outside of the data range.